Well, it's evening. A little overcast this evening. Nighttime in the Bitterroot. There's Sputnik I'm working on. Air wind generator. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm bothering you people is um, this is that hub motor or that uh, hoverboard motor that I uh, modified in my last video. As you can see, I got it kind of rigged up here with a whole bunch of big magnets on it. Got six of them on there. Yeah. And then we got some transformers. We got the whole the high voltage coils. Three of them on there. I want to put six on eventually. Uh, just waiting for the microwaves to present themselves. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is my new toy. I'm working on it. This is the other one that we had going. I'm, I had to end it in a different video, but it's doing pretty good. We're using the primary coils on it and the secondary coils on this one. Anyway, let's see this little Hummer get up up to speed. Let me get the control, speed control. They're hooked up to these two batteries. It's running on 24 volt and it's charging 24 volts. And right now it's got 22 volts in the batteries. I'm going to show you guys something. This thing tends to get up. Gets on. wire there anyway it charges up pretty good but it seems the problem is it don't want to go past the capabilities of the battery i get up too much resistance and it slows the motor down but what i think i need to do is switch my charge control get a, get a switched car charge control so that my amps can build up a little bit and then it can throw it back into my batteries Anyway, I'm trying to think about messing around with some MOSFETs and see if I can rig up some kind of a switch to do that. Um, it don't use any voltage and it don't gain any voltage. Let me shut her down and you can see what I mean. Right back to 22. Yeah, it'll settle down in a minute and that's where it'll stay. Anyways, all I'm doing is running it through that three-phase uh, rectifier out of an alternator, and I've got another one there that's 50 amp that's uh, taking care of all of the the microwave uh, coils. But uh, basically, it's dumping it in there. Now I can get this thing to wind up. I mean, without a load on, it'll go up 40, 42 volts, real easy. But that's without a load, so. We're working on it. I think when I get those other three coils on there, then I'm going to turn that top in. I'm going to have me a three-phase pickup set up on top here with, with the six of them. I'll have two, two, and two. So I think it'll put out a whole lot more power that way. Anyway, I'll keep you guys informed. Um, just kicking back, enjoying the evening, me and Spirit. And, uh, hey, yeah, 